I'm going to do an eating show. I don't even know how they say that. But I'm in my car. I live in my car. <laughs> no, I don't. Um, but I'm in my car a lot. So, And I decided that I'm going to go to Whole Foods and get my favorite pizza. This is so good. This is called the... Italian stallion. I guess it's got a lot of, it's got sun-dried tomatoes, roasted ham, I don't know, a bunch of stuff on it. And then I got my favorite, favorite, favorite bougie water. <laughs> bougie, but not. Dollar 149. Cucumber, thyme, and lemon spa water that they make there. Spa water, Whole Foods, yum! So, uh, let's dig in. So, how are you guys doing? Mmm. I love this pizza, you guys. So good. I've never had this kind. I kind of don't like these tomatoes, though. These. Yeah. They're like... I like them by themselves, but I don't like them on the pizza. These are like sun-dried roasted tomatoes. Yeah, they gotta go. I like them by themselves, but not on pizza. Because they taste kind of sour. I'm not feeling that. But like I was talking about, yeah, my honey got approved, was issued. So, the process has been really overwhelming and stressful. Um, I don't know. It was just really, really stressful because he had sold his business. He left his country um, to go live in another African country. I mean, it was just too much. They had an embassy in his country, the United States. But the war started with Saudi Arabia and Yemen. And the embassy left. So, and I didn't know. I mean, the process has been like extremely, extremely hard. Because he's there by himself. He's a pretty young guy. He's like 26 now. Or turning 27, I think. I met him when he was 24. Um, he's grown tremendously in three years. Um, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I always put it in God's hands. If God wanted me to be with him, he would bring him here. And, um, so I'm going with it, you know, um, I know that I've dedicated myself to the Lord now, so, and I can't say that for the last 40, 40 years, because I haven't been, and, and, um, this is just the way to share my, I guess, um, Testimony. I wouldn't say a testimony because I, I haven't mastered being a Christian yet. I'm trying, and it's extremely hard because everything is so. The world is so against God now. I mean, it's like even Christians like attack other Christians for actually telling people the truth. You know, it's like whatever. when someone's is telling someone else what the, the Bible says and then another Christian that thinks they're a better Christian says oh you're not supposed to judge I'm like I'm not judging dude I'm saying like if Jesus was sitting in front of you he would say the same thing you know like oh I just don't like hypocrite and before, when I was on YouTube, I was such... I, I don't say I was a hypocrite, but I did believe that I was a Christian. 
but I wasn't living that way. Um, I think this time when I committed myself to Christianity, when Autumn was in the hospital, I actually received the Holy Spirit. I don't think I received the Holy Spirit before then. Um, because my life is so different. And my guy's having a problem with it, actually. Because... When I met him, I was a different person. I was buck wild, really. And... I'm just a different person now, and I just... I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I, and I'm grateful, but it's hard. It's not easy committing yourself to Christ in this days and age. Because it's hard. Because everything you're... I don't know. Mm. Like I said, I'm really struggling with being in control of my mouth. Um, being able to control it is really, really hard because I... It's just hard and that's the only way I express myself through profanity, which is it's not cute and it's not something that I'm proud of and I'm, I'm really working on that I hope you guys see that <laughs> um, I'm just expressing myself through a Christian lens um, hopefully something about my behavior will plant a seed in you and, and make you want to explore it, but I don't know. I do need help with some things. I, with the whole Trisha Paytas thing, I've totally given up on her. I don't, look. She's gross. And I know that's not a Christian thing to say. She's gross. I'm very aware of that. And I will get a punish for it, but I just can't help it. I mean, I can, but I just don't. Ugh. I don't know. It's like I want to do a, a video like Chris Crocker. <sighs> like all the fishies leave Trish alone. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like she, I mean, but I did go on um, Beauty Guru or Guru Gossip or something, whatever that is. And they give her the ringer, honey. Mm -hmm. Um. So, most of the people talk about her shallowness, you know, like, like her body and stuff. But I don't think her body is anything to be ashamed of. I think she has a cute body. She's like a little thick Barbie, you know. She does. She is that. But what I have a problem with her is just her way she acts. It's disgusting. Ugh. Her character is gross. Like, you can't, you know, like the other day she was praying in her car. I'm like, what a joke. I'm like, okay. But, I don't know. I shouldn't talk about her at all. But she just gets my nerves. And this whole moving business, I so stupid. I mean, like, honestly, who is not going to know your car? And who is not going to follow you? If you, I mean, if you have, like, fans like that, and you're, like, really that scared, why paint your car pink? Everybody knows it's you. It's stupid. It's, like, the stupidest thing. And, I don't know. Like, really... So, I'm not, I don't care that she has to move. I don't feel bad for her. I don't feel anything, I don't feel anything bad for her. Like, oh, poor Trisha. No, never. I don't know. And then, 
Because there was one chick that said that Nina Santiago leaked her address. I don't think she did. She's got too much going on. And, like, I honestly don't think that she would go around L.A. and try to find Trisha Paytas. You know what I mean? Like, I certainly wouldn't. But, it probably wouldn't be hard. If you're looking for Trisha Paytas, all you'd have to do is, like, go to her little nail salon and stock it and then wait till she comes up. You know? It'll be really easy. I'm just stupid. Like, she's stupid for, like, the car situation is going to bring car hell. Yep. We ain't heard the end of that. She's gonna trade this car in. Because it's dangerous for her to have it. If I mean, if she has haters like that, like, for real, that's gonna follow her home and leak her address and all this stuff. She has no business putting her pink-ass car out there. You know what I mean? Like, that's so stupid. And she doesn't have enough money to hire a security team. Um, I thought she had a mortgage. You know, I thought she bought that place. And, she, and if she bought that place, she couldn't have moved out like that. So, she was leasing it or whatever. Just stupid, man. Just dumb. <laughs> like, really? She's just dumb. I mean, like, I don't know. And what about her? I don't know. <laughs> I'm getting full. I just, I don't know, you guys. <laughs> I don't know. Like, my thing is, is, like, the Sean situation. situation. I don't think Sean would have been so interested in her if she was just an average girl. Like, average chubby girl that didn't have a YouTube thing going on for her. Or they do have... You know, they have... I mean, Trisha's nice. I mean, I, I see her nice, but I don't like her personality. That's the thing. Like, I, I don't like her, but... I'm sure she's a nice person. Like, I'm not saying that she's not nice. Um, I just think that her character is disgusting. Like, like she said that, like, I mean, it's disgusting. Like, I'm your Aaliyah to Art Kelly, and we're going to pee on each other afterwards. I mean, like, is that disgusting or not? Like, gross. And it's funny to her, and she put it in, you know? It's like... What's wrong with you? Like, really? You you like that? You like being disgusting like that? I don't know. Anyway, I do think Sean is using her for the come up. Do they enjoy each other? Of course. And he's not got anything else going on. I mean, he might as well let go hang out with her. Um, but when... He wants to pursue things out of her, and she and he gets a little up and up. I don't know if he's going to be there for her. I hope he is. I hope he is. I mean, prove us wrong, Sean. That's all I got to say. Peace and hair grease, y'all. <laughs> I like to gossip. Bye, y'all.